Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> no, not you again. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Ow! Oh! Duke Nukem. I mean, I've always heard of this game. I've never seen the gameplay, though. It was one of the first real action shooters. This could be interesting. It sucks. <laughs> looks like it's time for me to go postal. Alright, calm down and look at this game! It's an old DOS game that Steam had to open up DOSBox to even run. You just go left and right and pick up stuff for points. Bombs will hurt you, enemies hurt you, and it's insane to try and feed enemies in your path before you get shot. The entire level is one giant pointless maze that never feels like you're actually accomplishing anything. There's no point in trying to open the mystery boxes because they'll probably just have a bomb in them and you could even shoot the health pickups. So I must ask, if playing a game feels like a waste of time and I can't progress through a pointless maze, why keep going? I know the argument is that games were made like this at the time, but my response is, I'd rather be doing cross-stitch. Damn, I'm good. Come on. Duke Nukem 2, released ironically two years later. Who knows, this might be something better. Well, that's not a good sign. The game looks, sounds, and controls better than the first. I know that sounds a bit foolish when speaking about a game in which you run left and right, jump and shoot, but it really does feel more responsive. Your gun feels more impactful, you look more like the Duke that I'm familiar with. It's just a pity that this game is worse to play than the last one overall. Bombs hit across the entire screen and you have to just memorize where they are. Enemies can't be killed without being shot back even if you're careful and plan ahead. And the whole thing is still one giant maze that feels even more counterintuitive than last time. I'm sure it was amazing for its time, but in a year where Mortal Kombat 2, X-Wing, Star Fox, Day of the Tentacle, Secret of Mana, and Mega Man X were released, this game feels weak even for its time. Suck it down. Duke Nukem 3D, Atomic Edition. Now this is what I know what I'm looking at. This is the Duke that I'm familiar with. Sure, there's still a lot of the problems of where do I go when and how do I stop getting shot by any of these before I can shoot back, but this is playable. This is a game. This is the first game that gave Duke his voice, and all of the quotes are awesome. It combines a lot of the action movie cheese from the day with a misogynistic bravado that leaves it timeless. There's always another small interaction or reference, there's always another hidden area to discover, and there's always another scantily clad, pixelized lady to throw bills at. Yeah, it's a weird game. The first level starts out solidly with enough hidden areas to help you get used to finding them, but easy enough to learn what you're doing. From there, you go out onto the streets, working your way through Hollywood. Now, they introduce a mechanic that feels like a complete waste of time now, but that will end up becoming completely intolerable down the line. This counts as a puzzle to the game, but it's really not. They'll give you a row of buttons, and a specific combination of those buttons will progress the game. In general, there will be four buttons, allowing for 24 combinations. Enough to be annoying, but not enough to be unsolvable. But it gets worse? and worse until they present you with eight buttons that have to be perfectly aligned to continue the game. That is over 40,000 combinations for the buttons. Have you lost your minds? To find the way to solve that problem, you need to notice a background element in a whole other area. Almost all of the screens of this game have useless information on them that's probably a reference. This one screen, however, has the code to continue the game in an entirely different place. That's not giving the player a solution, by any stretch of the imagination, and you cannot expect the player to complete that section. You failures. We're not at that level, though. There's difficulties on the second level that they really like to spawn enemies behind you as you do things, which will become more and more prevalent as the game goes on. It's manageable, but you need to learn what you're doing. 
This will require playing the level as far as you can, dying, and playing again. The level still feels short enough that when you learn, you'll get further and further ahead. You'll figure out where secrets are so you get through easier, and each time you play, you'll find things you missed the first time. However, make sure that you're constantly saving whenever you do something important. The first reason is because the levels get longer and more complicated, and they start to feel far too long for any of that enjoyment of discovery to set in after a bit. The bigger and more problematic issue is that when you die in a return to the beginning of the level, you are reset to having a starting pistol with well under max ammo. That's not enough to let you take on the enemies that you're facing at that point, and you've lost all the weapons and ammo that you've stored up and found. There's no reason to not just reset the game to your save point, no matter how far back it is, because you can't make it through the game with just the pistol. The levels feel interactive and interesting, though. From the lunar base, to secret mountain hills, to nuclear launch sites, a burger joint, and even a theme park, which is the worst level. At first, the theme park seems like it's going to be amazing. You get to shoot the obnoxious mascots, jump on different rides, everything that comes to your mind when I say that's a level. But then comes the shooting gallery. You need to realize to shoot the targets in a specific order. There's nowhere in the game that gives you the pattern, and there's 120 possible patterns. If I had played this game back in 1996, when I wouldn't have been able to just look up the solution online, not a chance I would have carried on with this game. That is absolutely stupid. I was glad I could look it up and keep going, though, because the game is really fun overall. Is it easy? <laughs> no, not really. But it was certainly achievable. You never knew what was going to come next, so you just had to keep going. I'll definitely say, though, this game is very adult. Between the half-naked ladies everywhere, the things Duke says, the things he does to some of the bosses, definitely be mature before checking this game out. But hey, if you're immaturely mature, this is a game definitely worth discovering. Ah, uh, much better. No, you again! Ow! Oh! That didn't quite work. Oh! Sweet! Yeah, right? Yeah! You know, if you hadn't said anything, that might have worked as a take. One of the first big name shooters, I've always heard, I've always heard about it, but I've never really seen the gameplay. This could be interesting. Okay. Ready? Damn, I'm good. Come on! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Christmas? You're looking at me. <laughs> right. Don't look at me, look at me. Right. Hmm. Get it in the hole, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's pretty funny. It's going to the outer takes too. <laughs>